Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Absolutely fantastic that you joined me today for num episode number 35. Sincerely appreciate it. Today in episode 35, I'm going to talk about the category descriptor and how you can get it to show in its entirety in the filter tray. I have here a really basic model. I have some accounts in a, an account matrix and with those account numbers is associated a descriptor and as you can see it's pretty long and then some other tertiary data. I also have a forecast matrix and what I want to do is I want to be able to you know get the actuals and the budget for a listed account number by month by year. So in order to get the account number into this new forecast matrix what I need to do is I need to just drag and drop like this and you can see that as I do that it actually creates a link between the two matrices. I need to now also have the account number have a descriptor on it much like it is shown up here in the accounts matrix and how I do that is I simply right click click item descriptor and then budget descriptor and there you have it I'm able to see my descriptor what I want to now do is I want to filter uh, the account numbers because uh, that's just going to facilitate my ability to update the accounts that I care about so I'll drag account number to the filter tray as I do so again I've got the account number and I've got the descriptor the only problem is is that I can't read the descriptor and since I have so many accounts that are so similar in numbers it's confusing as well as the descriptor is the first parts of it are the same so how can I make the descriptor show up completely or a little better well I can't go here and I can't expand the category tile as maybe you would think you should be able to do intuitively so what I need to do is I need to take account number back down to the row tray and I need to go ahead and I need to expand this out like this and I did, as I do that I'm able to see the entire account number as well as the descriptor now I'm going to left align this just for kicks and giggles to make it a little bit easier to see and then I take account number I drag it back up to the filter tray and there you have it I'm now able to see the entire account number and the entire descriptor for the most part in my drop down which will facilitate me in getting the correct account to plug in actual and budget for in my forecast matrix. If you have any questions about Quantrix Modeler or about descriptors or the filter tray, feel free to reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. Of course, follow me on YouTube at Quantrix Authority and of course at Twitter. I absolutely love Quantrix. I'm very passionate about it and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So continue to Enjoy Quantrix and please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.